Hell yeah. How, how, how I do it, how I do it. Yo, Cuts by Reggie, back with another video. Nothing long, something quick that I've got a question about. Not a lot of questions, but somebody asked about. Y'all can see different scenery. I got the question, I'm on my off day. I said, why not? Might as well go ahead and put the video together, all right? So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, comment, share, like dislike if you dislike all the good stuff right during my time on doing the youtube and you know reviewing clippers and buying so many products getting sent products and stuff you get different questions of what's the best clipper what's the best trimmer shears razor blades everything right brushes all, all sorts of things right and one of the things that come along with that of course you get the different blades that's on a trimmer of course you got the, the gold fx blade you got the graphite blade from uh, Babeless. You got the T-outliner blade. You got the square blade. So there's different blades, right? And also when it comes to clippers, there are different blades, right? Two of the main blades that you're going to get, this is a fusion blade, but pretty much is a fade blade, right? But two, two of the main the blades that you will get is a fade blade and a taper blade, right? These are the two main blades that's on different clippers. Of course, you've got different blades. You got the fusion blade, of course, like I just said. And then you also have the wedge blade from Babeless. I'm not a fan of the wedge blade. This is good for like finishing for me. I'm not a fan of using it for a full cut, but let's just say you got a ball fade or you got a light fade or you, you fading up, you're doing a taper. This is real good for going in with just that that part of the blade you don't have to put the whole blade on her you just kind of going at a line you're not really worrying about the fade and the scooping and all that stuff so i do like that for how sean cuts her call his uh his half blade half guard it's the eraser right it's this is this is a good blade for erasing right but when it comes to doing a full haircut the the main two blades you're gonna have you're gonna have a fade blade and you're gonna have the uh, taper blade. This is a JRL. This is a wall magic clip, right? Battery about to die in that one. And I still got life in this, right? So the biggest difference between these blades is, of course, the design. On a on a fade blade, it's more of a it comes up in more of a straight angle into a thinner blade, right? And then of course you got the taper blade they got like more of a c cup already it's already giving you that design of going into a scooping motion when you cut and that's one of the main differences to me or one of the big differences to me is this is already not saying it's a handicap i don't want to i don't want to make it seem like you can't use this for whatever you want right but it's already designed it's already got a good design on when you're fading and going up and scooping out right it's already giving you that scoop in motion as you go through and cutting her off right so that's what the taper blade is good for and with the with the i was about to say thin blade but it's thinner but with the fade blade or the surgical blade especially if you got an andis blade that blade is like thin right and there are some problems when they are too thin but with the fade blade it's it's, it's already on the skin yes you can fade with it i use the fade blade more than a taper blade you can still come out with it and do your fading but it's already or the 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 taper blade is already in that motion as far as the 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 fade blade you got to go in and both of them you have to do it yourself but with the fade blade you are like it's, it's more work of digging in and that's where the problem comes in with the fade blade especially with the andis blade that's that's why i've had the most problems with i've had problems with some but more of the problems with you with the fade blade comes from andis they be too thin right because when you're fading it's getting these are this is going to get you closer to the skin than a taper blade of course you can zero gap them get them both to whatever you want but this is going to get you closer to the skin so when you fade and, and coming up to that line you dig into the skin just a little bit if it's too thin, you're gonna snag. I don't know if you've ever used a fade blade, especially a um, Andy's fade blade, but it snags on the skin sometimes and you just gotta be careful with what you're doing. This is, I use this for all my cutting, right? For the most part, unless I get a new clipper in, it comes with a taper blade. But for the most part, I'm gonna use a fade blade, right? Fade blade is a better option when you wanna take out a ball line. 
So you got the ball, you got the ball fade, right? This, yes, you can zero gap it and it can come, it can get close, but that fade blade, since it's so thin, it's it's so close between the uh the moving blade and the cut, the moving blade and the steel blade, it's just it's right there in the sense of coming out and just scooping at that ball line. This is gonna get you a lot closer than this taper blade will. Both is good for it, depending on how you want to use it. But how I would say it is a, and I don't like to, to say who's different and who should be using this or who shouldn't be using that, right? But with a taper blade, you got more of a forgiveness room, right? So with a fade blade, you're going to go into the skin. It's going to get close and it's going to take out a little bit more hair than a taper blade would. As far as a beginning barber, someone that's trying to get their touch down right, I would suggest you use a um, a taper blade to start off with. That's what I used to use at first. At first, I didn't even know the difference between blades. Whatever blade was on the clipper was on the clipper. But then once you start learning your touch, you start learning what can do what for you, you start learning machines of that nature, you can tell what blade works better for you. I say try them both because just because you are a veteran barber don't mean you're gonna automatically just choose the fade blade over the taper blade, right? But if you were a beginning barber, in my opinion, I would say just stick with the taper blade until you really get a, a feel for what you got going on, and then you move up to the fade blade, right? So, like I said, there are other blades out there, fusion blade, which is pretty much a fade blade, but you got the fusion blade, you got the wedge blade, but for the majority, these are the two blades that you're gonna see on the majority of your clippers. You get what I'm saying? So that is my opinion on, and which blade is better? That's our preference. So my, dis, my, my thought on which blade you should get is if you're a beginner, just start with the taper blade and give you more forgiveness room and then as you work yourself up and you learn your touch, you can move on to the fade blade. My decision or my thought process on which one is better is our preference, right? I done learned my touch and I like the fade blade just because it gets it does get closer to the skin, but some people might not like that. You know what I'm saying? You might feel better with the taper blade. And if you feel better with that, get the taper blade. But I do say once you start learning your touch and you start getting used to cutting her, ball fading fading up and all that then i say you just with you know you get which one works better for you but i say try them both try all the blades out because i'm not a fan of the wedge blade but people do use the wedge blade it comes on uh I don't, I don't know if i've ever seen it on other companies clippers but i know um uh, babeless has it on a few different clippers all right so it might just be their blade i don't know but that's my opinion on the different blades on the clippers taper blade fade blade fusion blade wedge blade it's a few all right but that's my my thought process on all the clippers if y'all see me doing this i got this <laughs> i got these in my shirt tucked in my shirt so they won't fall on the ground it's raining outside but it feels nice out here that's why i'm sitting outside all right but hope this was helpful in some way to anybody if it's just one person that's fine, all right? That's what I do it for. So if you're that one person that this is somehow helped, I appreciate you for watching. I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. My goal for, you wanna give yourself goals. My goal for the end of the year is to hit 10,000 subscribers. Hopefully we get there. If not, we're gonna still keep it moving, but that's my goal for the end of the year. So um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Like the videos if you like them, dislike them if you dislike them. Comment, share and all that good stuff, and we'll be back with another video. Peace.